So in summary, the alimentary canal is a long tube that starts from the mouth and ends at the anus. Now we put food into the alimentary canal through the mouth and that process is called ingestion. After taking in the food, the food is digested. It is broken down. Now when you break the food down from the large particles into the smaller particles without changing the food, it is mechanical digestion. Now when the food is changed by the actions of enzymes, we call that chemical digestion. Now the digested food is absorbed into the bloodstream. Once it gets into the bloodstream, the food molecules or the digested food molecules will be transported to the cells. Assimilation is when the digested food enters cells. Okay, the undigested food still remains in the gut. It will be passed on to the large intestines and then will exit the body through the anus. This is what we call ejection. Now, at certain times, you may pass loose watery stools. Okay, when the loose watery stools are coming out, it could be signs of diarrhea. Now, this could lead to dehydration. The same applies to cholera. Cholera leads to diarrhea. Okay. Now with cholera, you're going to have the presence of bacteria. This bacteria is going to cause water to move from the blood into the small intestines. So it is going to suck water from the blood and then will be passed out through the anus. So with time, the person will become dehydrated and could even lead to death. In these cases, Oral rehydration is very, very important. This brings us to the end of our lesson on the alimentary canal.